It might not be the first thing that comes to mind, but space technology is revolutionizing farming as we know it. Now, this is some of the coolest technology we have right now, and it definitely doesn't get the attention I think it deserves. So in this video, I want to show you just how important space technology is for ensuring we have enough healthy food to feed our growing population while protecting our environment from further harm. Hi, I'm Camille, and I spent the last five years working on cutting edge space technologies, but I got fed up with all the negative stigmas about space tech and exploration. So earlier this year, I quit my job to change that through accessible and optimistic stories about space technology's crucial role in shaping the world we live in and our future. Okay, agriculture is facing some huge challenges right now. We need to feed more people more food that requires more resources to grow, but we don't have more resources. In fact, we have less of them. So we need to increase the amount of crops produced on current farmland while reducing greenhouse gas emissions and pollution and conserving water. Now, that's a huge undertaking and honestly seems really overwhelming to me, but that's where technology comes in. Did you know that today's tractors are incredibly high tech? Here, watch this. Yeah, that tractor is driving itself. Thanks to new innovations, tractors can be autonomously operated from anywhere in the world, even outer space if you want it. And actually space, well, space technology, is a huge reason for this. These modern high-tech tractors are equipped with GPS systems powered by satellites. These satellites send positioning information to the tractor, which tells it precisely where in the field it is, just like Google Maps. The tractor's onboard automation software takes it to the next step, autonomously mapping the most efficient route and planting seeds with pinpoint accuracy. This increases efficiency and crop yields while reducing fuel consumption. Tractors are also about to be connected to satellite internet. Earlier this year, John Deere announced a pretty game-changing partnership with Elon Musk's SpaceX to equip its tractors with ruggedized Starlink terminals. This means that even farmers in the most remote regions will be connected to their operations through high-speed internet, which of course, as we all know in this day and age, is everything. But we haven't even gotten to the coolest part. Are you ready for this? We can observe and analyze crops and farmland from space down to a half a meter resolution. Wait, let me show you what that means. A satellite can distinguish this foot and a half from this foot and a half. Kind of like using your phone to zoom in really far on something, except your phone is hundreds of miles above Earth traveling over 17,000 miles an hour. Now what if we had a crop, say corn, to that land? Corn is grown about 8 to 12 inches apart. Well, satellites are getting so good that they can almost see an individual corn plant from outer space. Whoa. So when satellites look at crops and farmland, what are they monitoring and how does it help farmers? Satellites can see how healthy plants are just by looking at the light they reflect. In case you're curious, this is called the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. That's a huge mouthful, so NDVI is the acronym. And farmers use this to catch any diseases or nutritional deficiencies far before it's too late. Now what about water? I don't know about you, but watering my plants just right is so hard. I honestly just kill them all. Well, farmers can't afford to do that. So satellites look at crops and say, hey, do you have enough water, too much, or just the right amount? Then farmers can use that information to adjust their irrigation so that individual plants get just the right amount of water while conserving as much as possible. Satellites also predict crop yields, which on a yearly basis informs how farmers plan for harvest season and set market prices. But year over year, we can predict future growing seasons and how we're gonna feed a growing population. Now beyond individual crop management, satellites are also crucial for monitoring climate change impacts to agriculture, including extreme weather events. I have a whole video on this if you're interested in learning more. There are a bunch of satellites in space right now and even more people working on next-gen space for agriculture technology, and I just wanted to share a few with you. Planet has over 200 satellites that image all of Earth's landmass daily, providing the most up-to-date and comprehensive agricultural insights across every region and season. They even have a historical archive of over 1,700 images of every acre of land on Earth. Hydrosat is a startup developing their own 16 satellite constellation that aims to provide high resolution thermal imagery to help us better manage and conserve our most precious resource, water. 
But taking it one step further, they recently purchased the world's most advanced irrigation management software company, which is really cool that that even exists in the first place. So this data can flow more efficiently from the satellites to the irrigation systems themselves. Pixel is another startup building a constellation of small Earth observation satellites, but instead of thermal imagery, they're focused on hyperspectral imagery, which simultaneously collects signals across various parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. Their goal is to provide 50 times more data through hundreds of wavelengths at once to detect problems that are invisible to today's satellites. Everyone working on this is also developing data analytics tools with the hope of seamlessly integrating throughout the farmer's entire operation. I do still think we have a ways to go when it comes to getting actionable data into farmers' hands for a really low cost, but we are making significant strides toward that future. NASA and other international space agencies are also deeply involved with agriculture. NASA has a few programs, NASA Harvest and NASA Acres, dedicated to connecting scientists and space data with farmers and leaders in the agricultural sector. And there are a bunch of government-owned and operated satellites like the US's Landsat and Europe's Sentinel satellites that provide crucial agriculture data to government decision makers, companies, and even individual farmers. It takes all of us working together using every tool in our toolbox, both simple and high tech, to solve this challenge. The world depends on it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing to stay up to date.